Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dan Mack, I'm a first year medical student and today I thought we'd talk about some tips and advice on how to pass the GAMSAT. So to do this, I brought my good friend and GAMSAT tutor, Rose. Oh, uh, hey guys, yeah, my name's Rose, I'm a fourth year student here at Nottingham, here to talk about the GAMSAT today. Yeah. <laughs> so the GAMSAT, it's, a, it's the test that graduates have to do, so it's got three sections. I think it might be for dentistry as well, but it's, yeah, yeah. it's one of the, the big medical school entrance tests. So it's got like a reasoning of humanities section, which yeah. involves like poetry, prose, um, looking at cartoons, data as well. There's quite a lot of data in that section, which I yeah. think is very unfair. That should be the science <laughs> section, but there you go. Uh, and then it's got an essay section as well. So mm. the essay section is one hour. So you have to write two essays in that. Um, okay. which we'll go into in a little bit. And then the third section is the one that I think most people are really nervous about, the science section. Or, um, yeah. And I think in total, it's, it's a big exam. It yeah. takes about six hours. It's a little bit different at the moment with COVID. I think some of the Yeah, yeah, sections... so it's all online, I've read up. Yeah. So you, go to, so you still go to a test centre, I believe. But then, yeah, it's all a computer, which is nice for some people who have bad handwriting, so... Yeah, for me, it was, <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, what, what could yeah. Like, yeah, if I could have typed my essays, God, I would have done that way better. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, so it's, it's a little bit different at the moment, but, but it's quite a long day, it's about six hours, and, mm. um, yeah... It's my favourite section, this was reasoning in the humanities and social sciences. So, it, yeah, yeah it, I can't remember how many questions there were, actually, when I did it, but... It covers quite. I want to say seventy-five. It's been yeah, a while. It's, been it's, a while. it's definitely shorter than the science section, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Science section, sorry, but um, <laughs> it's like a combination of poetry, prose. There's some that you have like verbal abstract reasoning as well. So that sometimes, if you if you, I'd recommend always looking at past papers for the exam. Sometimes, yeah. like on Aussie Med or Ferdinand, definitely. they give you like um like kind of diagrams and stuff like ooh mm. this person is married to him but she's married to him da 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 so yeah the like cartoons you... always sorry talking about like, like the dark cartoons were so obscure it was like why <laughs> yeah <laughs> what does this cartoon mean is it this this is it I'm like I don't know they're trying to be funny <laughs> yeah it, yeah the, the cartoons are really weird aren't they so the, yeah they do like political cartoons as well yeah. um and sometimes they do what I'd call technical writing so quite often yeah. it's like ph things in philosophy or like kind of complicated things in psychology so for that um they'll kind of give you like an extract and they'll be like oh, what does this term mean da, 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 da. <laughs> or they'll they'll ask you to it, it's very like kind of specific so for stuff like that I would recommend just thinking about what kind of text it is so if it's sort yeah. of technical writing or it might be like an extract from a law book I would say take it very very literally so like with poetry or prose that's meant to be more expressive so if they give you literal answers it's not likely to be that one or like with political cartoons yeah they'll give you very like literal answers as well and be like this cartoon is about <laughs> airplanes and you're like yeah, yeah. oh no <laughs> it is not um so think think about what what kind of text it is if it's a cartoon mm. it's likely to be political satire so it will be something it will be kind of a comment on society and it will be Kind of humour in it as well, so so thinking about that can often actually help you to okay. to eliminate the answers. Um, with the the kind of technical writing stuff, those ones are quite hard. I say to all of them to the end because I struggle with those. <laughs> so um, I would say for those, it's hard if you're doing the exam online, obviously. But annotating, so every time they give you a new word or definition, writing down what it means and translating. So if you get any kind of weird language, whether it's like technical language or like kind of old English, translate it as you go along. Just okay. put it into to simple words so you understand. Yeah, so you understand it, yeah, fair enough. What it's saying, yeah. Okay. Um, and yeah, for section one, in terms of tips, I would say for one and three, like when they give you that reading time at the beginning, go through the paper and think, oh, I can do these questions really easily. Mm. So if you mean like, you know, cartoons or the shorter ones, do them first. Yeah. And then at the end, if you run out of time a bit on the harder ones, just guess. Yeah, it kind, just of, kind of <laughs> just guess. Yeah. yeah, it kind of builds your confidence as well, though. If you start with the easy ones and then you, yeah, work your way up because they're not like normal past papers you've done in the past, like your GCSEs, A levels. They start with the easy questions and it builds up to hard. Gamset is kind of just like a mix of everything. Oh yeah, I feel like they put all the worst questions at the beginning to yeah, make yeah. Go, I can't do it. So yeah, <laughs> don't, I don't, it's it's absolutely fine. I I did have to guess like a few questions, and that's yeah. totally okay. Because sometimes they they throw in deliberately really hard ones to put you off a bit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I would say yeah, doing that doing that is a good tip. Yeah. And again, just thinking about what the text is. If it's a poem, 
it's likely to be quite kind of abstract and quite reading between the lines. Mm. So if you see an if you're like, I have no idea what this means, but you see an answer that's a bit more interpretive, you know, go more towards that one than like a literal answer. Okay. Yeah. Too fair. What I did for the poetry things, for example, is I got a poetry of the day app. So like every day I'll get a poem and I'll read it just to think, okay, this means this, this is what they're trying to, just so I can get used to it. Because coming from a science background, we didn't read poems every day. Yeah, <laughs> we, didn't, yeah. we didn't look at things and think, oh, what does this actually mean? We just went, okay, one plus two equals... Yeah, this is very literal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. So yeah. that's what I did. I got the poem. I also did, like TED Talks. I don't know if you watch TED Talks. But... Oh yeah, that's a good idea, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I used to watch TED Talks just to be like, okay, these are the concepts they want. So when I came to the essay section later, which we'll, which we'll talk about a bit. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> my favourite section. Oh, apart from section one. I hated section three. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I had that just to be able to, you know, this is the ideas they had. It also keeps you a bit more up to date because reading the news, you don't really know what to talk about when you used to talk about in your essays. So, which we'll come to in a bit. So I'm, I'm rambling on, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, but I think that, that definitely is, is yeah. a good idea, yeah. I, and also with the poetry, I went on the Poetry Foundation, I actually quite like poetry anyway, but <laughs> if you go on the Poetry Foundation and just try to read poems or prose or anything from mm. lots of different types of poets, so like some, you, you get kind of the old fashioned like um, Shakespeare, like sonnet type stuff, but then you have things like Sylvia Plath, my favourite poet, uh, <laughs> which is a lot more like weird language. So I'm actually just reviewing something that I sometimes teach people GCSE English techniques like, you know, simile metaphor, assonance, dissonance, you know, hyperbole, all of that kind of stuff. If you recognise it in poetry or prose, it can help you to think about what the author's yeah, trying to do. Yeah, what they're trying to get at. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Exactly, yeah. With the like, um, oh, I hated all the graph stuff. I was like, yeah. So I saved those ones for the end as well. They're always weird graphs as well. It's mm. not just a standard X, Y. It's like a, look at this weird, I don't know how to describe it. You'll, you know when you get there. Yeah. <laughs> it's very weird. It's kind of, it's sort of, if you do your science degree, then you'll, re you'll kind of know how to read mm. graphs. But quite often it will be like data tables and stuff of like, mm. oh, this country's GDP was this, this country's was that. And you have to kind of, so ju just, you know, going on Google Scholar, obviously this is extremely boring, but looking up like different, just looking up papers of like, you know, different countries' GDP mm. or whatever and trying to to find a way of, of extracting data, that kind of thing. Yeah, you can literally yeah. type in weird graphs. How do I analyze yeah. weird graphs? Horrible it will come graphs. up. That's why terrible, I Terrible, terrible yeah, data. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's a good point. Just well, do do the papers, getting your hands on the past papers, I think is the best mm. thing to do. And then practicing, you know, just looking at poems, looking at prose and trying to think about how to interpret them. Mm. And just, yeah, just doing the practice questions and getting yeah. used to how weird, weirdly they're asked yeah. sometimes. True, true. It's a good idea. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash like, smash subscribe. Leave me a comment down below to let me know which tip you found particularly helpful, um, which tips you'd recommend to other people. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to leave Rose's link to her tutoring in the description down below. So go check that out, and yeah, catch you guys later. Okay, so...